is more active, and Corrales, as George pointed out, searching to land the one big shot. Good little poke with the left by Mayweather. He backs away and repeats the action. Just because the guy is smaller than you does not mean you can't hit. Now, all of Mayweather's opponents tend to say afterward, he hits harder than you think he does. Mayweather is very careful to throw his shots and get out of the way. He's not trying to mix it up. Good left hook by Floyd Mayweather. Well set up. Morales reaching and missing with the left. A great comeback. It's going to be important for Corrales not to get frustrated as he searches and searches to try to find the elusive Mayweather Jr. You can't try to hit him with one shot. Throw three or four shots and you'll get you a land one. Corrales is trying to get one shot in. Round two has been an excellent round for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Don't hold him. Don't hold him. Are you holding him who down? Who has established a tempo at which he can score effectively. We haven't seen one left jab from the tall opponent yet. Good round from Mayweather. Corrales searching too hard and too long for the one big power shot. Lloyd Mayweather Sr. was trying to offer some instruction across the top rope in the first round, but Uncle Roger and Floyd Jr. didn't give him any attention. Tell the floor to keep doing what he's doing. By that. Tell the floor to keep doing what he's doing. Ninth round, he'd be ready to go. Look, Floyd. Keep doing what you're doing, Floyd. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep your hands up good. Seven, eight, ninth round, he's ready to go. All right, now they do pay Keep attention to him. Both Roger and Floyd, Floyd turning to listen to what Floyd Sr. Right. has to say. Keep the head moving. Don't go back to the rope. Okay. Oh, Keep going straight right. back. Go around the corner with him, <laughs> in round two by CompuBox numbers, a wipeout for Mayweather. 18 out of 40 for 45%. Corrales landing only three of 20 punches in the second round. Break, Diego step Corrales step is going to have to step up his activity level and find more ways to get at Floyd Mayweather. Corrales gets close and does not even throw one punch. Trying to land one big one. get his confidence going and you're going to have trouble. Mayweather is working it now. As I said in the second round, he's developed the tempo at which he can score. He's moving in and out, side to side, taking advantage of his opportunities when they're there. And Corrales can scarcely find the moment to throw a punch. I think you can give away too many rounds Corrales is doing right now. You don't want to give away all of your rounds and then try to, and must have a knockout. Especially when you end with a boxer. Never That's thought. a good left hook by Corrales. Probably the best punch of both fighters tonight. Corrales manages break, to stalk break. Mayweather into the corner. Protect yourself. Richard Steele pulls on the puck. Steele told him to protect yourself at all times. That's what you're supposed to do. Corrales is trying to hit him back. Be first. Morales ducking the left jab and missing with the left hook. Turns to look at the big screen as he goes back to the Punch middle of the ring. Punch it out! Punch it get out! Don't hold him! Break! Step back! Step back! Morales again looks up at the big screen. Not sure what he's trying to see up there. Once Mayweather right establishes the left jab, game. he can do anything he wants. Right now, he hasn't gotten it good yet. He has to re withdraw it real quick and retreat. Good right hand. It was grazing, but it was almost right at Mayweather's head. And it's bothered Diego Corrales' left eye. He put the gloves up to touch the left eye and seems to be blinking for the moment. And incidentally, there's a clock on the big screen. So when Corrales looks at it, he's checking to see how much time is left in the round. Mayweather's on, on his toes. What you gotta do, you can't, only time you rest is when you sit on that stool.
got to keep your feet moving at all times. If Mayweather can do this at this rate for 12 rounds, it's going to be awfully difficult for Diego Corrales to find a way to score. His back is against the rope, as his dad told him not to. Now you see what the challenge facing Corrales is. Hard body shot with the right hand. And he said, I have to find a way to make him stop and fight. Mark your calendars for these upcoming shows. January 27, KO Nation features five Olympians making their professional debuts, including silver medalist Ricardo Williams. One week later, Hector Camacho Jr. and Sr. both fight on the same card from a nightclub in South Miami Beach. February 24, Roy Jones defends his light heavyweight crown against Derek Harmon. Next Thursday, don't miss Inside the NFL. Dan Marino and the gang will be in Tampa to dissect the surprising matchup between the Giants and Ravens. And tune in February 14 for the premiere of On the Record with Bob Costas, a sports program unlike any other. Broadcast live each week, this one-hour show will offer commentary, essays, and tough, issue-oriented segments. There will also be interviews with celebrated people from inside and outside the sports world. On the Record with Bob Costas, only on HBO. Well, Corrales said... He, uh, he would have to give away the early rounds, but as you say, George, you can't give away too many of them. He's going to have to get something done here soon, like that. Corrales let him open up with his left jab. This is the first time he was able to land one. He's only thrown 11 jabs in the first three rounds by CompuBox numbers. Harold, how'd you score him? Okay, Jim, 30 to 27, three rounds to nothing in favor of the champion, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Jim, you call this ring generalship. He goes side to side, works that jab up and down, comes over the top with the right hand, fighting a beautiful fight so far. Keeping uh, Diego Corrales off balance, Diego just can't get off. Floyd landed all the clean, hard shots. So a shutout from Mayweather so far. Rallis stalking and stalking. Mayweather moving and boxing. What you do when you're in there with a puncher, you let him throw puncher, two or three out. hard shots. Then you get closer and start hitting. But wait because he has to collect his breathing first. And that's what Mayweather is doing. It's the old okie doke. Mayweather landing the right hand, jabbing twice. Corrales trying to set up and get off. Mayweather Ooh. firing and then moving. Back to the jab, to the body with that jab again, Mayweather does. Now he's going to allow Corrales to throw the big shots, four or five, and then he's going to get right back on him. Well-executed fight plan so far for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Floyd, step up. Corrales may have to simply throw a little more cost into the wind and be more aggressive. Got to use his jab. He's the taller guy, and he hasn't thrown any jab. Now he uses a jab to set up a right and a left. Left hand landed to the body. Mayweather comes back, sticking his own jab and stopping Corrales' momentum. You can see now a combination of defense and offense by Floyd Mayweather. Looks like his dad and his uncle both made an impression tonight. Absolutely right. He's been brilliant both ways. You can't stop like that. Good left to the body by Corrales. Right hand over the top. Mayweather comes back with an angry right hand of his own over the top. Good left hook to the body by Floyd. Corrales smiles at him, usually a sign that he's been a little shocked. Mayweather doesn't want to get into these big exchanges with Corrales. He's going to get the best every time. Now he's just getting right back on it because he's expelled a lot of energy throwing those big shots. Mayweather can get him now. There you go. Good left hook 